And Allison joins me now for the backstory. Allison, this was such an impressive site. I'm wondering when you did this tour, what yeah. struck you the most about it? Well, first of all, they told me that we had this special access that no one had seen before through all of this construction that was going on. And the sheer scale of this project is so impressive. I encourage everyone out there to go. If you get a chance, there's a perimeter drive that you can do yeah. um, near Dove Valley and I-17 and it is just huge. Yeah, you talk about you know how mammoth this is. Is. I mean, really, it is a city within a city right mm. there. When you talk about this kind of a project, I mean, is Arizona, though, equipped to take this on? You know, as you saw there, I was speaking with the president of TSMC Arizona, and he told me this is really about two different workforces. You've got the construction crews, and then you also have the ones who work inside of these fabs. And so the construction crews, we're talking thousands and thousands, uh, depending on the rotation of the day. And so they say they have to pull from a lot of uh, different areas, not just our state, but across the country so it's hard for them to really pinpoint what is the Arizona workforce yeah which is very interesting because you think oh Arizona you know it's yeah. all here but it's really not all here yeah uh, when you talk about the delays you know we we know that there's been delays with fab one now fab two what about fab three yeah, it's interesting because these delays are not something that you plan for, right? So we know Fab 1 was set to start production in 2024. Now that's set to start production here in 2025. Then Fab 2 was supposed to start production in 2026. We're hearing now that it could be as early as 2027. So if they can stay on track here, that still remains to be seen. But Tram, this is something we're going to be following. Like you mentioned, a $65 billion investment here in our state. We are certainly going to continue to follow that on 12 News. Yeah, it definitely definitely puts us on the global map. Yeah. All right, Allison, thank you so much. We appreciate